Alright, so this is actually the cool part. You get a choice. I'm... Yeah, yeah, it's after you beat both these, you also get another choice, and Wisp and Aquarium Park open. Which are pretty fucking rad. I'm one of those weirdos that's like, Planet Wisp in Generations, I really fucking liked as a level. That's not the weird part. Kinda wish Aquarium Park had been the level though. I mean, we already had a few water areas. Well, actually, wait, no. What was it? It was just Seaside Hill, right? In Generations, that was like an underwater level. You know, not counting Chemical Plant. But I'm also one of those weirdos where it's like... City Escape's the most iconic level of Adventure 2. Yeah, I get that. But as someone who loves Adventure 2 to death, I fucking wish it had been Metal Harbor or Pyramid Cave or Green Forest. Because there are too many city levels in Generations. Anyway, I'm shutting up for this. Don't get, don't, don't get fucking used to it. I won't shut up very often in this LP, but... Um... Look. The, uh... Oh, whoops, missed that. Oh, well. The music for, um... Tropical Resort, you know, definitely won me over pretty quickly. But this is where, like, oh yeah, the music's actually going to be pretty cool in this game. And I like the nice contrast between all the, uh, I guess you'd say, like, portal-esque color scheme for all the, um, you know, the metal man-made pieces. And the candy. Or as we'd call them, the lollies. Not that kind of lolly, you fuck. Get out of here. <laughs> Ugh. Tasteful, eh? Let's fucking go for a drill. Now, can I find it? Where was it? Yeah, there's this kind of stuff you can break in here. Um, if we go in this, though, we're gonna have to wait for a drill to spawn. No, pull up, pull up. God damn it. This is going poorly. This is going very poorly. There we go. Yeah, I'm just boosting because, like, I gotta get all of these as fast as possible and then what? Yeah, there we go. Yep, there we go. Good. It was too fast. It's born faster than I could say. There we go. So yeah, there's, the, there's all these kind of pipes underground, which are pretty rad. They take us to new areas. And yeah, if you go low enough, you'll notice yeah all the mechanized parts down here, which are basically the border telling you to go up, stupid. Dig up, stupid. I actually get to use my Simpsons quote. And these can be quite generous, but quite finicky at the same time. And we gotta... Yeah. That is the equivalent of drowning. I mean, other than drowning, which comes in in Aquarium Park. I don't think it's a thing on Planet Wisp, and it's definitely not in Starlight Carnival. Um, so yeah. There's a life up there taunting me. Don't know how the fuck we get there. But we can somehow. Whoa, it was worth it. Fucking worth it. <laughs> oh, it would have looked really cool if it had worked. Plus, again, I'm just gunning it through this game as fast as I can. Who gives a shit about ranked? Now, that moment's pretty rad. That's the kind of st stuff this game needs more of. And I think does. Now, those switches are fucking trolls. And you have the Eggman troll um, bounce pads. And these springs are motherfuckers sometimes. Not a single red ring, but who gives a shit? So yeah, typically Act 1 will always be the fastest. It'll be over the, uh, the quickest. If I had all my rings, I probably would have got an S there. That's a damn shame. I'm trying to remember which games retained it. But, um... Yeah, Forces didn't. Um, the whole mechanic they tried out in Sonic and the Black Knight. Again, what a stellar game. Oh, sorry, I meant to say stellar soundtrack. The game's okay. It's not amazing, but it's... Fine. Anyway, um, ignoring my shitty joke, they tried the mechanic of if you get hit, you lose, um, I think it was about 20 rings. I know it was 20 rings at some point. I feel like it was potentially less than others or more depending. But I kind of like that idea. Definitely solves a lot of people's major gripe with Sonic games in that you get hit once and well, potentially all your progress is gone. Also really annoying in the adventure games, 
speaking of annoying, I'm doing this because fuck you, points. Drift bonus, I shouldn't have made it so easy to get. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can get this... Yeah, you get this in the final battle too. So I will be doing that when we get there. Um, Adventure 2, when you're running um, through a level to get as many rings as possible, and you get hit, you know, right, right at the end. Chiefly for Chow Garden stuff. Again, um, I'm not a fan of mobile games. I am shocked Sega has not looked into, you know, using the Chow Garden for anything mobile. I mean, it acted as a gameplay loop uh, for Adventure 2. You complete level, pick up a Chow Key most likely, go in, do some maintenance, or if you be, you know, if you're like my brothers and I, became fucking obsessed with it. I don't know how well it would work on a mobile device with nothing else around it. Um, probably be very, you know... Well, pay to win might not be the appropriate term, but who knows what they fucking do do with such a model. But I just don't think it'd be as good. But it still completely dumbs, dumbfounds me that they have done nothing with the Chow Garden for so fucking long. They'll show the Chows every every once in a while, no prob. They just won't do anything with them, which is so fucking strange. I don't get it. They're sitting on a gold mine, and they bloody know it. There we go. Remembered from last night, fuckers. I'm not saying last night, that was days ago. I imagine by this point, um, this is part two. Because I'm probably going to cut it um, at the end of Tropical... Um, why am I forgetting the name? Tropical Resort. Fuck me, all out of enemies. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, I know Nintendo's made some interesting decisions of late. Cough. It is currently the 8th of October, um, what was it? October, what the fuck's wrong with me? The 8th of, um, December. Sorry, my brain, I don't know. This is your brain on, God, fucking god damn it, this is your brain on speed. Meaning Sonic. Not the drugs, you idiot. Ah, oh, this is me. But, yeah, um, yeah, Nintendo's made some interesting moves of late. I ain't getting into that. <laughs> Hence why I brought it up. Well played, me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm focusing back on Sega, because that's way less uncomfortable. <laughs> um, I don't get them. I, I don't get their plan. In terms of, like, in a lot of ways. Yep, cheesing the rails. Just like that part in, um, Final Rush. It's Final Rush and Final Chase, that's right. So we now have Rocket. I mean... It's so weird what they do with Sonic. They'll trot him out every couple of years for something new, and honestly not really good typically. It's just... I've said it before, Forces bums me out. Because there is, there is some good shit there, and they will toss it all away. Or throw it all away. If you'd uh, rather have a music reference. Ah, oh, fuck this. God damn it. Yeah, give me the fucking thing. There we go. Thank you. I'm not going back for you, Red Ring. Get stuffed. Um, yeah, Forces has some interesting stuff. And no, I don't mean the plot. That's, um... I mean, Eggman wins is a good plot point. Probably the progenitor for many a fanfic. A fanfic. Fucking Christ. My brain today. Oh, yep, I, um, pressed the wrong button there. We're going nuts. Hold on, wait a second. That fucking chocolate fountain. So it is. Won't see that reused. That's not even sarcastic, you won't. Nowhere else in the game it would fit in. Fuck you. Oh, frame rate, eh? Light town. <laughs> Actually, yeah, no, we, we fell from the top part. We survived, um, because we were using spook. Or we did a... Uh, quit out. Um, and now we're down in the swamp with a bad frame rate. And we're agonizingly trying to get back up. See, my blight turn analogy is pretty fucking out. Screw you. God damn it. I do like the horns in this song, though. They have, like, I don't want to, yeah, well, you know what, fuck it, I will say. It gives me like a secret agent type vibe, especially with like the aesthetic of the level 2. 
I'm not going to say like straight up James Bond, but it gives it that kind of feel, the kind of guitars they're using. Accompanied with the horns. Makes me think older type movie. Okay, come on. Yes, you... F oh, you son of a bitch. Alright, I'm going to keep in mind how many lives I have next time. And then we'll see if they count or not. Because so I forget if you have to actually pick them up. Oh yeah, and another cool thing. If you're sick of this level, just back out and go to Starlight Carnival. Don't know why you would though. Like... I've been going for just under 38 minutes, it'll be way shorter for you guys. And by way I mean like 2 minutes potentially. Um, but yeah, you just fucking move to a different level if you want. You gotta complete it sometime though. Truly the uh, the uh, black town of the game. Fuck. God damn it. I don't know. If anything, uh, we just beat Undead Berg. This is heading up. This is the parish. We have the Belfry Gargoyles coming up soon. And I guess Starlight Carnival would then have to be Blight Town in that analogy. Which would, weirdly enough, make Planet West Sen's Fortress. Or oh, maybe that's the Anna Londo. I don't know. Yeah, Planet West, that's Anna Londo. Point to it, children. <laughs> ah. Yep. There's Anna Londo. Oh boy. I promised I wasn't going to make best friend references, but too fucking bad. I haven't even watched a DS3 LP in quite some time. That still fucking cracks me up. Is this Anna Londo? Evidently not. It's fucking Sweet Mountain. It's not called Sweet Mountain. I'm going to look really dumb given the name's right fucking there. Yeah, so interesting mechanic here. Oh, by the way, I haven't touched one of those. Yeah, they hurt. They're lasers. Let's see, what's over here? I totally forget. Oh, you just get off the lift, huh? Okay, that's neat. I totally forgot that. Am I thinking... Yeah, okay, I'm thinking of the last one. Okay. Yeah. Think... Um, don't think that's it up there, but... um. The very end of the level was an even bigger version of that. So that's pretty rad. I'm running out of things to say, oh shit. Um, how tragic. However, will people enjoy this video game with some random Aussie dude fucking blabbering over the top of it? Now, I might as well mention it. I've been. Oh! Fuck you! Well played, mate! Well played! Well played, Kojumbo. Um, I wanted to record this bloody days ago, but the weather has been shithouse. In that, we have just hit summer, and here in Melbourne, it's been fucking raining on and off for days. And it's the kind of rain where it's really, it's consistently inconsistent is the best way to phrase it. In the context of, oh, well, I guess we've got to go for it. Um, in the context of, it's basically ever-present, and it'll just fucking, you know, start up out of nowhere, bucket, and then stop. But there's always a chance it's gonna start. And we don't have a fucking tin roof or anything, but that shit can be heard on the mic. And it makes, that's what, that's what really pissed me off about the Nemesis playthrough. Sorry, the um, Resident Evil 3 Remake playthrough. Um, yeah, okay, good. It is Sweet Mountain. I'm not totally suffering from dementia. I don't need Mike's brain medicine. Ah, oh, truly, I am a hack fraud, I guess. Oh, yeah, I didn't kill them all. I could kill them all. I've got to make an Anarchy Reigns edit eventually. One, once again. I've been wanting to for fucking months. For a year, in fact, but... It has nothing, nothing I can make that's noteworthy enough to really, you know, you know, create demand. There's no reason for me to, unless I can think of something genuinely interesting. Also, yes, what amazing textures in the background. I love 2D jelly beans spilling out like that. God damn it, we've got to go back and do this platforming. Fuck. 
Having a double jump makes this a lot easier, though. Yep. Yeah, knew it. It happened last time, goddammit. You shit. Okay, this one's on me. Don't blame the game. This one's entirely on me. Yeah, having a double jump makes this way easier, though. So I could have just totally ignored him. And I am a fucking genius, aren't I? I've wasted everyone's time, including my own. Yeah, so by now you're probably noticing another one of the smaller but more noticeable issues of this game. Oh, that one, that was not one of them. That was on me. The main thing being, well, it's a 3D Sonic game. Boy, are there a lot of 2D sections. Yep. This is where that thing started. The thing that plagues Generations, which is an amazing game. I like it a lot. But it's one of the downsides of Generations 100%. Meanwhile, this is one of my downsides. Of just being totally fucking inept. God damn it. This has gone abysmally. I'm sorry. I need a ring. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. You fuck. Boy. Boy, boy, oh boy. I fucking nailed this the other night. Yeah, see, it's not actually that hard, is it? It's not that hard, me. Now stop being inept. <sighs> okay, there we go. There we go. Fucking nailed it. We got there eventually. Ah, oh, fuck this. Just needed some boost before we could do that. The hell was I talking about? Because I've completely forgotten now. I wonder if you can get over the goal. Probably. There's no way that's any more than a B. In fact, you know what? Yes, that's fair. That was not any more than a C. I will cop that. There's that phrase, P's get degrees. In essence, maybe I should have I should have just gone with that because getting a distinction ain't helping me get a job. <laughs> ah, thank you, Uni. <sighs> no, don't worry. I'm not having a moment where you, you have the realization that your tertiary education was a complete fucking waste. I realized that halfway through. No. No, I'm proud of my Uni time. My time at Uni. I put in effort, which is nice. Just wish that translated to getting a job done. Says man playing video games on a school day because he's not really a teacher. <laughs> Wolf Chan coming back. I'm pretty sure they use that exact kind of thing right there. That exact kind of moment in um, Forces. In Green Hill. Or, you know, or as they put it, more like Sand Hill. You get it? Because that's a Sonic level. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> ah. Thank you, Forces. Forces will forever bum me out, and I'll try not to talk about it every single part, but fuck. Eggman wins is such a strong plot point, and you only had one time to do it, and you wasted it on forces. Fucking amazing. You did well, guys. That was sarcasm that time. Oh shit, this part. And I don't have a ring. Okay, you know what? Fuck this. I, I'm at the start. Screw it. This is this is one of those times I will just restart because fuck it. There was no checkpoint. Who cares? Low times are really good in this game. So, um, like I inferred, I think it was in part one. <laughs> I don't remember at this point. I've been... Yeah, it would, would have been in part one at this point. Um, I've been playing Digimon Cyber Sleuth. I've had that game for quite a few years, and I'm finally getting into it proper. And by proper, I mean sitting at the uh, start of chapter 5, where I've been grinding for most of 12 hours of play. <laughs> Fuck, I hate these guys so much. Ugh. Giant pain in Sonic's blue backside. Damn it. Let me fucking boost you bastards. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the main issue here. Need one ring. 
There's no seven rings in hand, we just need one. Uh, speaking of being a weirdo in terms of Sonic, I didn't mind the secret rings that much. I'm gonna die, don't worry. Um, wasn't an amazing game, don't worry. I'm not gonna pretend it is. But there was some cool stuff there. You know, mostly the music. Um, and the art, art style was pretty alright. Art direction was not bad. Fucking Eraser Jin was actually pretty cool. In an edgy Sonic fanfic type way. I mean, his, his music was pretty good. The boss fight. I can't remember if I ever beat the final boss. I know I was up to it. As of, again, a decade ago. I can't remember if I ever beat it. I feel like I must have. Sure as fuck didn't beat forces. Got up to the second last boss and just went, fuck it. Oh wait, I have beaten the final boss of forces. And the final boss of Lost World. Don't worry, that'll make more sense um, at the very end of the game. That'll give me shit to talk about. Experience has also taught me that the best way to solve problems is to kick robot butt. Visitors are cautioned to avoid digging, petting, or saving any animals. Uh, Alright, let's see what we got here. Excuse me. I meant to bring it up earlier, and there's no way you'll bloody hear it over my voice. Because you can barely hear it in normal gameplay. But there are a lot of cool announcements Eggman is constantly making in the back of levels. In the background of levels. I wish there was a way to, well, you know, someone obviously has figured out how to extract the audio clips. But I wish I had them, because they're actually pretty fucking funny. It reminds me of almost like a PG, ver oh, PG, a G-rated version of the announcers in Mad World, actually. Which, will set, which is a fucking weird comparison, I know, believe me. But, yeah. I like the idea of, like, antagonists or just people having commentary in the background. Now, I think with Drill we can just hit him. Like that, yeah. Problem solved. Yeah, this, that makes this fight a lot fucking faster. So, you'll have noticed when I went underground, there were some Drill things charging me. Yeah, they're shits. Guess they're meant to be like the mole robots that have been Sonic before. But, um... Fuck! You've had it happen! Oh, there we go. This is going alright. Oh, great. Here comes the rain. You're going to hear this for the final part. So I guess I'm ending it after this boss fight like I was planning. So having a drill makes this part way easier because you're meant to homing attack the boss. Who I don't know whether... You know, there they are, you fuck. Gotcha, get curb stomped. Oh yeah, this rain's definitely going to pick up. I need those rings. Hmm, this is a great way to cap off the recording session. Dying to a boss. <laughs> and having the downpour start again. Truly the downcoming. Oh boy. Oh shit. Come on. One, two, three. Got it. Okay, no boosts. But that doesn't matter too much when we can just nail him with the drill. And yes, out of context, that sounds bad. And yes, in context, that sounds bad. Like that bit where Makoto says she's going to drill it into you. Yes, that was Persona 5. That's the Makoto I mean. Right, okay. This boss fight's going to be a lot easier now because I'm just going to use the drill. It's going to be a billion times easier. Assuming I don't die here. Yep. One... Two. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it could have been five if I wanted. Fuck. You son of a bitch. Oh, okay, got rings. That's the important part. One, two, three. Yeah. There we go. Not going a lot better, but far more likely for this to be not as abysmal. Now, I can't remember if we got to hit him a third time. So I lost my rings anyway. We gotta hit him the third time, don't we? So I really need these rings. Hold on. Oh no, we just killed him. I'm sorry you didn't see the death animation. Um, 
It's definitely definitely no prey slaughtered though. Or Lord of Cinder destroyed. Alright, so fun little thing. I had 13 lives. I'm gonna deliberately leave that life alone. Oh fuck it. No. You know what? I guess we never find out. Oh well. I want that life for later. We might actually start going through them later on. You never know. So, something weird I never realized with this game, because I always played it in the same fashion, is that you can get this cutscene on Starlight Carnival if you beat it first. Um, because the one following that boss is um, after this one. So it doesn't matter. Like, this plays out. They've just rendered, rendered it in both environments. So, you know, it's not, it, they just effectively changed the skybox. That's really all they fucking did. Okay, look, Baldy McNose hair is funny once. But the best thing you heard all day, Sonic, I don't know. Yeah, secretly I'm just jealous his humor's better than mine. Yeah, that that must be it. No, a porpoise. Oh, an evil purpose. That's good intel. Keep working on it. Hey, where are you going? To find I'm trying to remember the lyrics for every day is exactly the same, so don't fuck it up. I think it is. I think I used to have a purpose. And, and you know, it's it's that joke of everyone here's porpoise. <laughs> Ah, uh, and that's where we're ending this clusterfuck. <laughs> <laughs>